Dax Hill. There's a fly ball that's hit well to right center field. Going back is Ward, and Ward made the catch. Tagging coming in to score is Aragon, and taking third, Behar. It's 1-0, 5-0-5 Panthers. And I don't know if you noticed Mancha's reaction, but he was upset. He felt he missed it. You could see it in his face oh, right yeah. off the swing. Yeah, I think he thought he had the ball. Both sides, they thought they might be advancing. Karras all the way to third. Mancha hits it. It's a pretty good hit in the left field up the gap. That's going to find the gap and go all the way to the wall. Round the hot corner is Karras. He will score. Mancha in the third with a triple as the ball gets away and backed up behind home plate. But Ty Mancha comes up with the tying hit. 1-1 the score here in the bottom of the third. Martin who grounded at the second in the right field. Base hit. Mancha will score easily. Two to one Albuquerque Academy just like that. Whether or not anybody's standing on third base or not. Ooh. Up the middle. Base hit. Easily scoring is Cook. That was a rocket shot. Now going to second. Thinking second thoughts and the throw almost got away again. And Karras just has them thinking all which ways, but he gets the RBI, does Karras, to make it 3-1. to one. They call a block, and that's oh. going to score a run. Uh-oh. Top of the sixth inning, it is now 3-2 to two in favor of Albuquerque Baseball the Academy. 15 or 16 now? He is the 16. That's into right field, base hit. We are tied up on his way to third base and being in there is the runner piece as scoring is Kuhn. We are tied at three. Edergon, the youngster, comes up with his first RBI in bracket play. Yes, yeah, Scott, he's 16, so he's got his license to drive as he drives that one down the first base line. Critical juncture and all of a sudden, Brand new ball game. This isn't isn't this the best part of the Connie Mack? It's late in the game and it's all tied up again. Yeah, he drove his team right back into the game, Fielder tying it up. Them the out, but in all of that action, Peace gets himself over to third base and gives his team the opportunity to still be in a spot to bring in another run and potentially take the lead here late. Keenan Behar walked and popped out, and he grounds one softly to short. Good play by Karras. Throws over to first and. In time and on the play, the run scores, and this place is going nuts. It's 4 3, 5 0 5 Panthers. Infamous moment this year where I think Freddie Freeman already had like a 1 2 count, and they intentionally walked him from the 1 2 by just giving the signal. And That's there it a is. dunker in the center, and that is a base hit. Scoring is Martinez, or is he? The throw is not yes. in time, and the throw to third, and they are going to get the runner. Well, Scott, we said it's the fryer into the frying pan, and Mancha comes up huge for them. He comes up to the plate. He puts it just in location, and, yeah, the defense comes up and does their job. They get the guy over at third, and they had such a close play mm. there at home. And I wouldn't be surprised if the folks from Farmington want to see that one again. But I was going to say, I would not be shocked. Here comes the throw to the plate. It ended up being a good one. And it looked like he just got his left hand in. Yeah, I think. You know, with the plate job. view because of the dirt, it was hard to see. But I think he just got that full underneath. count. Yeah, so now the pressure really on. Yeah, this is one of those high leverage situations that they talk about more and more in baseball. I mean, there's no more leverage you can get. It's extra, extra innings. Ball four. Scott, what was what is it that you called Behar early on? You said that the coach called him the sure thing. And Behar, it seems like both defensively and offensively, he's just been such a sure thing, keeping his eyes attent, not letting Mabry bully him there, and just watching the ball and watching the lead. Yeah, sure thing in the field, and he ends up being a sure thing overall. I know. He's got an RBI earlier in the game. He walked. That's the second time he's walked today. Oh, that one gets through. away. Here comes another run. It is 6-4, 5-0-5. And look at their dugout. 
they are celebrating like crazy over there. Well, I mean, it's one thing to just win a game. It's another to win a game against, I mean, in-state rivals. We've seen so many of these, like, regional battles during this early bracket round, and they're not just winning this game. They're defending the home against the kids from just down 550. The 0-2. That hit him. Or did it? No, it didn't. No advancement by the runners, and now they're going to throw it in the oh. center field. And here comes the run to score. Another error. It's 7 to 4, 505 Panthers. And you know, we you mentioned earlier on, Monch is a guy who likes to throw it. He likes to be aggressive like that. But in a situation like this, you only contribute to what's been happening in this inning by throwing that ball over there. Yeah, you want to get that final out. Yeah, you want to be cute with it. But you're up in the count. You're. It's going to be 1 2 if I remember right. But. That's a blooper. Left field, that's a base hit, and Pretty's going to score to make it 7-5. to five. And the tying run's going to come to the plate in the leadoff man, Achille Karras. 0-2. Oh, Fly ball, that's hit well to right field, but V-Hill is there, and 5-0-5 has won the game. The 5-0-5 Panthers celebrating as they win it 7-5.